What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I was too lazy to put on the good camera today, but I highly doubt you guys care. I know you guys don't really watch us for our videography skills. Anyway, you're about to watch a video of me getting pulled over earlier today. Now, I, I did add some commentary through text on there, but I want to just explain that um, in Mexico, in case you guys aren't familiar with driving over here, you, you might have some anxiety because you've heard that police pull you over a lot. And that's true. People get pulled over a lot, especially in the bigger cities. Currently, right now, we are in Morelia. And Morelia is kind of a bigger city, but not really when compared to some of the other places that we visited. But it's not necessarily a small place by any means, okay? Uh, so the police, they were pulling people over today, random traffic stop. And so I wanted to document and show you guys my experience. Now, as I mentioned later on in this video, before I came to Mexico, I told my wife and my family and friends, I am not driving to Mexico without getting a, ca a dash cam for the car. Now, we also have a, um, I, I have like a similar to a GoPro, which is what I give you a lot of my footage on. I have a GoPro uh, holder connected to the dashboard as well. Uh, that's for when I'm taking driving videos for you guys, right? But the dash cam is different. The dash cam is something that runs 24 seven if you want it to. I highly, highly, highly recommend if you are gonna be driving in Mexico, especially if you're in a foreign plated vehicle that you buy a dash cam. Now I spent a couple of hundred bucks on this thing, but I knew it was a good investment. And as long as that's a good product that you buy with good reviews, I think that it's highly recommended because uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be thankful for when you get pulled over. Make sure that dash cam cam has night mode, and also make sure that it picks up audio. The dash cam, as you're gonna see, has audio and it, it captures four sides of the vehicle. Really recommend you guys do that if you're gonna be coming here and driving to Mexico, especially with a foreign plated vehicle. Uh, I'm not definitely not saying that all police are bad, right? No matter where you are in the world, you're going to have good cops. You're going to have bad cops. But if you're in another country where stops like random stops happen this often, and unfortunately in a country where it's very known for police to ask you to pay them instead of paying the actual government for, uh, you know, when you, when you cause a trespass, when you break the law, Police will be like, hey, you know, let me let you off uh, with a warning if you give me 500 pesos, this many pesos, whatever. If you ever get pulled over and the police want to bribe you, my recommendation is you just let them do what they want. So, for example, you get pulled over. They say, hey, I'll let you go. You were, you were driving with, without your seatbelt. You're driving with, with, you know, talking on the phone. We need to charge you for that. We're going to give you a ticket. Ask for the ticket. And if they go ahead and say, well, you know what, we can help you get out of it. It's completely up to you guys. But I would say, no, I'll pay that ticket. And even if they threaten you with however they want to threaten you, I recommend you telling them, do whatever you want to do. I'm going to pay the ticket or let you do what you want and I'll, I'll deal with it later. A lot of the time from what I've been told by others who have been pulled over, the police will kind of like... Uh, threaten you a little bit like, hey, you know, give me the money or we're going to do this. And a lot of time they don't do anything, especially if you weren't really doing anything wrong. If you were doing something wrong, you kind of put yourself in a position to have been pulled over. But a lot of times from what I understand, many people don't get pulled over unless they're actually doing something wrong or unless they're at a random stop like what I was today. Anyway, guys, I hope this video uh, helps you guys out. If you have any other questions about driving in Mexico, want to see any specific driving videos, if you're concerned, if you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments and I hope this video helps you. See you guys later.
buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, señor. Uh, ¿Dónde es usted? Uh, uh, lo siento, uh, repeat. Uh, mi español es no muy bien. Uh, no muy bien. Ma más, o más o menos. Sí. Pero sí se le entiende bien, más o menos. Uh, y yeah, español, más o menos. ¿Dónde es usted? Uh, usted, um, Nueva York. ¿Nueva York? Sí. ¿Cómo anda de los documentos del vehículo? Sí, sí. ¿A qué se dedica usted? Uh, lo siento. ¿A qué se dedica? ¿Su profesión? Mm, no entiendo. ¿No? Lo siento. ¿Su trabajo? ¿A qué? Trabajo. Oh, trabajo. Um, uh, mi esposa. Um, profesora. Profesora. En línea. Ah. En línea, online. Right. Sí. Muy bien, muy bien. Ah, uh, sí. Es, es, está, está bien. Uh, documents. Uh, ¿Ya vive aquí en México o va de paso? Um, we, uh, hmm. ¿De visita? No, no, uh, más tarde. Uh, no, uh, más adelante. Y sí, sí. Um, ¿Un momento? <laughs> lo siento, lo siento. Mi español es no muy bien. No, no, no. Um, Uh, I've been practicing. I'm, pra I'm practicing. We are trying to move here. Uh, estamos uh, tratando de mudarnos aquí. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Uh, México es uh, muy bonito. Y, um, uh, un momento. The people here are very beautiful. Uh, la gente aquí es muy hermosa. hermosa. Sí, <laughs> muy bien. <laughs> ¿Qué documento trae de su vehículo? Uh, ¿Papeles? The paper? ¿Del vehículo? Uh, mm, sí. Uh, mm. Sí, ok. ¿Sí le podrá abrir atrás? Um, ¿Qué lleva atrás? Uh, no entiendo. Lo siento. ¿Sí le puede abrir? Uh, up. Uh
Anybody else? What are you doing here, bro? I'm good. You good? Yes, sir. Oh, all right. All right. Good day. Okay, you all too. Right.